every dog owner conversation comes back to food, right? Some of our fur babies are fussier. Others will eat anything that hits the floor or gets near their mouth. What if I told you dogs should be eating what humans eat? Well, let's dig in with this lovely little schnauzer, Kalinda, and her moms, Sarah and Marissa. Welcome all of you to CP24 Hi. Breakfast. Thanks for having us, This George. is fascinating. We'll get into the food in a second. That's that's the money issue here, but we're going to first talk about Kalinda. Quite a backstory for a dog that was frankly dying, right? Yeah. Tell me. So I was living in Hong Kong at the time, and I really wanted a dog. And I would had a miniature schnauzer growing up who died of cancer, and I was devastated. She died quite young. So um, I saw Kalinda on the rescue website, and she just reminded me of this dog I'd had growing up. And I found out she had a variety of health problems, including the fact she was so overweight that she could barely walk. Um, amongst other things and like almost twice the weight yeah was she was 11 and a half there's, kg there's a picture of her. and now it. she is uh, six and a half kg so it's really amazing wow. but I just fell in love with her and um, her best friend Hartley so I had to yeah. adopt them and give them a home Sarah human food for dogs now this sounds counterintuitive to a lot of us that have had dogs forever you know we grew up hearing people say don't give the dog you know food off the table don't give them what you eat you know this is science right not fiction Right. Right. So tell me about what's here and what I am going to sample. Yeah. So there's a lot of research that shows that as humans, we know we shouldn't be eating processed food every day. And so the same applies to our dogs. And so we've created recipes that ensure it gives dogs the balance they need in their food. And it's a mixture of proteins, fruits and vegetables. And we developed the recipes with a holistic veterinarian to ensure it gives mm -hmm. dogs nutrients they need. It's so our sense. recipes, yeah, so they consist of turkey, yeah. beef, chicken, and salmon, and a mix of fruits and vegetables. And we use butternut squash, kale, Maybe. carrots, um, broccoli. Is rice yeah. in there too, starches, or are you I avoid the starch? I don't use any fillers at this oh, point. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, and we make sure that all of our ingredients provide nutritional value for dogs. And yeah. greens too, right? Absolutely. Like, not yes. just veg, but like green veg. And so yes. when I had got adopted Kalinda, the vets recommended um, a bunch of different foods to me, and it was only through feeding her this gently cooked what food. Are sampling? What's, on the, what's on the cracker? So this is yeah. turkey, mm -hmm. and okay. it's butternut squash, kale, pear, and sage. Yeah. Okay. This Waiting is for the camera food. to see that yeah. Uncle George is going to try. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Fresh. Yep. Not a not a high salt profile though, which I'm a big salt lover, but that's that's, <laughs> that's important to not. Yeah. There's no seasoning. Yeah. See? No. <laughs> I wonder are the meals for the for the dogs, are they yeah. are they designed by age, breed, size? Do you tailor them? Yeah, so they're specific to a dog's weight. So we actually have a calculator on our website mm -hmm. where um, a dog owner can go on, put in an ideal weight for their dog, and then it'll determine how much of our recipes they should feed. And the beauty of our product is that um, people can feed it as an entire meal mm -hmm. or as a supplement to existing food. And there was a study conducted by mm -hmm. Purdue University on Scottish Terriers. And really interesting is that they found by feeding dogs just three times a week, leafy green vegetables mm -hmm. and adding that to their existing wow. food, it reduced cancer by 90%. Yeah, that is adding remarkable. Orange vegetables, it reduced it by 70%. So we really are what yeah. we eat. On Puppy gang level. fresh foods, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And let me also just ask you at the end here, what about the exercise enigma? You always hear, is it a myth that small dogs, like Linda, they don't need as much exercise? Dogs need a substantial amount of exercise. It's part so, of the yes, picture, right? Yes, that's yeah. definitely part of the picture as well. And right. in North America, dogs are, they say about 50% of dogs are yeah. overweight or obese. Well, yeah. you know, they're following our unfortunate trend of overeating, right? right. Mm -hmm. Overeating and processed foods. You're waking us up to some yeah. good things. And you know, they are our fur babies. We want them to live longer, and they can mm -hmm. live longer, healthier lives. Yeah. Puppy Gang Fresh Herb, or Fresh Foods. <laughs> Ladies, thank you. Puppy Gang Fresh Foods. And Kalinda... Thank you, Sarah Mosa, for Thanks, being here. Thank you so much. We're back with more at yeah. 24 Breakfast. Thanks. It's a dog's yeah. breakfast. Mine, too. <laughs> it's good. <laughs>